What's up, everybody? I have a couple of recent pickups here that I want to share with you all. I'm actually going to start off with uh, two DC Earth Day pops here. Um, so you may already know if you're a Funko collector, you may know what I'm referring to. So the first one I have here is actually the comic cover Poison Ivy. And uh, this is one, you know, as soon as I saw it, I knew that I wanted this for my collection. It does have the Earth Day sticker there, Earth Day 2022, Walmart exclusive, of course. And uh, you can kind of see the comic cover there. Nice design of Poison Ivy. And um, the, this uh, particular Poison Ivy, I mean, the green on the legs is pretty obvious there. The rest of her body, though, it almost looks like just human um, tone skin. But they decided to go with green for the actual pop here, which I'm fine with. I think it is a very nice looking pop figure. Yeah, you see, she actually has the rose in hand, just like on the comic cover. So yeah, this is very nice here. I haven't actually seen this in stores. Um, I did a pre-order to get mine. And um, I actually I had another one that I ordered too from Akari because I forgot about the one that I pre-ordered. But I did find a home already for that extra. But yeah, you see a better look at the cover back there. Yeah, and this is from the DC um, Rebirth line there. So yeah, again, like I said, with her um, complexion there, to me, it's, it has sort of a green tint to it. But with the actual pop, they went with a darker green there. But it still works. Yeah, it's a very nice looking pop there. And um, I do like that they have it centered. It's easy to see the pop. Whereas some comic cover um, Funko products, it's not so easy to see the figure because it's kind of off to the corner there. But yeah, I, I like when they put it right in the center like that. So yeah, very happy that I was able to add that to my collection. And then, of course, I also have here Black Orchid which I was really surprised that they decided to do this character, but pleasantly surprised, though I really want Funko to continue to do some unexpected um, DC characters. Um, you see it has the Justice League logo going on there. Yeah, very nice looking character. I actually will take this one out of the box, and I do like these Earth Day um, boxes here as well. I'm assuming, of course, these are made with recyclable material, which um, I think more companies in general just need to use recyclable materials, basically. But uh, yeah, this is a very nice looking pop. Like I said, I will get this one out of box here in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and share some other recent figures with you as well, though. Um, this one here, I was very surprised to find this at my local Walmart. And uh, we actually have a chase here, Glow in the Dark Chase of Gilgamesh. And of course, he is one of the Eternals. The Eternals movie... If you think of it as a self-contained movie, I think it's okay. I don't think it fits very well into the MCU, though. But um, I did like some of the characters, including Gilgamesh. I really like that actor. He's actually um, he's one of the stars of Train to Busan, which is an amazing um, zombie movie. If you never check that out and you're into zombie movies, definitely give that a watch. But yeah, he was great in that. And um, I did like his character in this, even though he wasn't given a ton to do. He did at least have a, uh, one or two decent action sequences. There is what the common looks like there. Here, he's actually using his power some. He, you know, kind of wraps these... Uh, like this power around his fist or whatever it just makes him stronger basically if i remember correctly and i do like some of the other characters um including makari actually picked up her pop not that long long ago she's a speedster i just i'm a sucker for speedsters i really like speedster characters and i thought she's pretty interesting in the movie um but yeah really happy to find this and it was just a, a pleasant surprise basically um other than these two though this one and makari i don't know if i have any other eternals figures in my collections. I, I did not keep the ones from the collector core. I thought those were kind of boring, to be honest. Um, I also had a delivery come in from Entertainment Earth. We have here this Entertainment Earth exclusive Loki with Scepter. Now, it, it, it says glow in the dark here. I almost feel like they shouldn't even bother to say glow in the dark and let people just discover that um, the Cosmic Cube, I think, within the staff actually does um, glow. But it's such a minor detail. I just feel like it's not even worth putting a glow in the dark sticker on the box personally but you know we'll, we'll see what the glow looks like if I can actually even get it on camera to show you all because like I said very small very minor detail but uh yeah we'll get a closer look at it I definitely do like this design for Loki you know of course based off the first Avengers movie very good look for the character so yeah I'll get that one out of box as well um also found this two pack here from Target and I didn't have these commons yet. It is just two commons put into commons, excuse me, put into a box. But uh, we have here Tanjiro and Nezuko, of course, from Demon Slayer. And like I said, I didn't pick these up yet, so I'm glad to have this two pack. 
I feel like there is a, a four pack as well with the main characters together. Um, somebody could correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I just want these two here together. And I do have, uh, I think, two other Tanjiro Pops. Um, this is my first Nezuko here. Not really so worried about some of the other supporting characters, although I do have Inosuke, the flocked um, Inosuke, not the chase. But um, yeah, I do have him. Not the biggest fan of Zenitsu. He kind of drives me crazy, actually. So not really worrying about him right now. Although there is one that has um, some images floating around, one that's up and coming, which I may add to my collection because the effect on that one is very nice. And then I may get some of the villains as they release as well. And definitely Rengoku, whenever they get around to doing Rengoku. Um, and there's rumors of a glow-in-the-dark Rengoku, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm actually going to leave these in the box, though, because, like I said, they're, they're previously released commons. I think, you know, people may have seen these by now, so... But this was a nice find, though, and um, I found it, like I said, in Target, which, if you're going to get that two-pack, go with Target, because it is cheaper than what they were selling it for on Funko.com. I don't know if they're going to restock it on Funko.com, but... Like I said, it's cheaper with Target anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get a couple of these pops out of the box and we will take a closer look at them. Uh, before I do that though, I actually have some Cos Babies here as well that I also want to unbox. So first of all, here we have Captain Carter and this is based on Marvel's What If, um, not based on um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, you know, even though she had an appearance there. But uh, yeah, very awesome looking figure. I'm definitely a fan of Captain Carter. Definitely a fan of the actress uh, Haley Atwell, I believe is her name. So yeah, I will be getting this out of box here. And this actually came from Shop Disney. They had a sale going on with their Cos Babies. And you can check to see if they still have that sale going on or not. But I was pleasantly surprised to see that sale. And I did take advantage of it to get Captain Carter. And also to get this awesome set here. The Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers. This is very cool. And um, I'll tell you, without that sales price, I would not have gone for this because it is kind of pricey. Even with the sales price, just a little more than some people may want to spend. But I thought it was worth it at that um, you know, discounted price here. So very much looking forward to getting a closer look at this here. And yeah, like I said, these Cos Babies came from Shop Disney. Definitely give that, you know, a site a check, you know, a look and see um what they got going on there with Cos Babies. I did accidentally get another Black Orchid as well because, I, again, I forgot about the pre-order. But um, this Black Orchid, I did actually pick her up in store. So I do have two right now. And I'm actually considering, now that I'm looking at it, keeping one of these out of box and just keeping the other one in box because this is a really awesome looking figure. And you do, get, of course, get to see the details better with her out of the box there. I like how she has this really large collar and it's kind of... Uh, you know, it almost looks like it's turned to the side, but actually her, it's just her body positioning basically there. But yeah, it's a very cool looking collar. I love the different colors on it, the different pinks and purples here. Very nice looking figure and, and really a good idea as an Earth Day pop. So yeah, this one is pretty awesome. And um, if you're interested in it, interested in getting this one, um, it should be pretty easy to track down. Uh, if you can't find it in store, I believe it's still on the website. So yeah, if you want to add this to your collection, definitely do so. And uh, definitely support the release of these other DC characters beyond Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Joker, you know, the characters that have tons of pops, you know, definitely support these other characters so we can continue to see more variety. Um, next here, Gilgamesh, <laughs> like I said, you know, he's a glow in the dark chase, but the glow is very minimal. Um, it's just the effect that you see on his arm right here, him using his power. So, yeah, not a lot to that necessarily as a chase. At least he is in a different pose, though, which is always nice. And I do like the paint job on his outfit here. Although I will say, I think that's one of the things that hurt the Eternals, that their outfits look so similar. I mean, they're just different colors, so... Yeah, not, not the strongest um, design idea. They're basically definitely uh, kind of bland for the MCU. So, yeah, they probably could have thought that out a little bit better there to make the characters look more unique. But I am still happy that I found this chase. Like I said, I, I definitely do like this actor. I like the, the character as well. And, you know, Eternals, I would not call it a great movie, but I don't think it's um, as rough as some people make it out to be, though. Uh, and then with Loki, it was tough for me to even get... A picture of the glow with the staff there like I said very minimal and I, I still feel like they shouldn't even bother calling this a glow-in-the-dark pop like just let people discover that that element of it actually does glow 
Yeah, but um, the scepter does actually look pretty good, pretty true to the way that it looked in the movie. And like I said, this is a great outfit for Loki. I do kind of wish that it was even more of a deeper um, gold or maybe more of a bright gold, I guess you could say or whatever. But um, it still works, though. The coloring still works here overall. And yeah, it's just that that great look of Loki, you know, from the Avengers movie when he was a full on villain. Yeah, so if you're a big Loki fan, I think that pop there is probably an easy buy. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at the Cos baby of Captain Carter. And I do like the look of this here as well. I like that um, it, this is sort of a metallic paint job to it, or at least some elements of it are metallic. So it sh looks, you know, pretty nice in the light. It catches the light some, which I definitely like there. And I know this character has received some hate here and there. I don't really completely understand it. It's not like she's completely replacing Captain America, not Steve Rogers or Sam Wilson. I mean, yes, Marvel does promote her son, but they promote their other characters as well. So I, I don't really understand the hate towards the character. I think she's a great character. I really like the actress, actress like I said, and I look forward to seeing more of this character. Um, You know, who knows? We may see her back for What If Season 2. Or um, who knows? I mean, there's even a chance of seeing her in live action again. I mean, you know, now that the multiverse exists, you never know what could happen. But uh, yeah, that is a great figure there. I think they did a really good job with the hair sculpt there as well. And it, is, it actually does look similar to the actress, even though it's this super cutesy version of the character. It does kind of put you in the mind of the actress there. So yeah, that's pretty awesome there. And then let's check out the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers. Actually, we'll take a close look at Steve Rogers at first. And this has a feature I've not seen before with a cos baby i mean there he's um kind of doing a salute basically or waving i guess you could say but this arm um is has a magnet so it's actually interchangeable let's see and yeah that's i like that that's so easy to switch those out there there is another feature here it's with the hydra stomper let's take a close look at this first very stocky figure here um suitably so and i like that it actually does have some sort of like wear and tear to it you know, they tried to make it look aged some. I, I think the uh, Funko Pop actually has more detail on it with the aging, but still, I appreciate that they did that. They give it those little details there. And then, and it looked like it was actually already starting to come loose. Uh, of course, the helmet, the head pops off there. And there's actually space in here. You see there's even a, a peg down there. You can actually sit Steve Rogers inside if you want to. Now, to me, I mean, it's, it's cool, I guess, if you leave it like that and you could tell that he's inside. I don't see a point in trying to put the helmet back on. Actually, it doesn't even go back on. I can see now it doesn't fit. So, yeah, it's meant to actually display it in this way if you want to, just to show that Steve Rogers is in there. So, I like that. You know, it's an interesting way to display it if you want to do it that way. I think I'd prefer to actually keep him out of there and keep him on his own stand and just put the helmet back on here. Do let me know, though, how would you um, display this? Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers if you were to add it to your collection and who knows maybe you would want to add it to your collection like I said check shop Disney and see if they still have a sale price going on for that and for some other Cos babies as well and they do have some Marvel Cos babies and um, some Star Wars ones as well so yeah like I said check it out and check them out on a regular basis because they do um, add some more Cos babies from time to time and some of them that are really popular sell out pretty quickly like um i know the uh scarlet witch that they had not that long ago that one sold out pretty fast so yeah kind of keep an eye on shop disney to see what they have available and then they have sometimes have some exclusive marvel legends as well and by the way i am not sponsored by shop disney it's just a site that i like to personally check out and shop from sometimes so uh yeah definitely let me know what you think about my haul here the cos babies and the pops as well um do you have any of these or do you plan on adding on any you know any of these to your collection also also let me know what you're hunting for right now for me personally there are a couple of the marvel mech strike monster hunters pops that i may go for mainly the exclusives and of course i'm going to try to hunt down that uh spider-man chase as well and the glow in the dark green goblin and which i think is actually available on walmart's website but uh yeah i definitely want to add that one to my collection and the um the Target exclusive Black Panther one from that set as well. So there's a couple of those that I'm looking for and um, maybe some other things, you know, Marvel related mainly, I think right now, but I'll see what's out there. But yeah, you all let me know what are you trying to hunt down right now? Oh, something else that I'm looking for is at five below the um, Infinity Saga minis. I'm definitely waiting for those to finally reach my five below. They have not shown up yet, 
hopefully they will or either maybe they'll put them on the website i've seen some people reselling those but the prices are absolutely absurd especially for minis i'm not paying like three times the value over three times the value for some minis so i'll just wait but uh yeah like i said let me know what you're looking for right now what you're trying to add to your collection thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out i hope that you've kept yourself safe over the holiday weekend and that you continue to keep yourself safe we know there's a lot of craziness going on out there so just look out for yourselves look out for your friends and family and again thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out and i will talk to you all again real soon